What's up guys, it's your boy Darkskin, and today I want to talk to you guys about something that you probably are not doing. Now, I know a lot of you guys are playing the game, a lot of you guys run around and you're, you search stuff up, you look for stuff and everything like that, but what if I told you, you could make your job a lot easier? Well, you can make your job a lot easier. So, if we go ahead and go to the characters, uh, I know a lot of you guys have probably already noticed that there are some characters that are a lot better than other characters when it comes to exploration, right? Uh, I.e. Venti, right? Everyone knows Venti is that guy that can, you know, fly into the air, give himself a boost before he climbs on something or it, things like that. Well, Venti's not the only character that brings uh, this aspect to the game. There are actually a lot of characters that give you a lot of usage as far as in the exploration part of this game. Um, a couple of characters I want to talk about, which we're going to go ahead and go over here. Just so I can show you guys. Um, are a couple of characters I used in my team. Number one, Mona. Mona is very, very good for, for exploration. And the reason why is if you guys didn't know, which some people don't, is whenever Mona dashes, she goes into the water. But what if I, but, but this is the thing, right? She actually can go on actual water and she'll move way faster than other characters will whenever they are swimming in the water. Now, keep in mind, you have to do, you have to do this before you're in the water because if you're in the water normally, she will swim normally. So keep that in mind. Um, but Mona, very, very good as far as water places or things like that where you need to get across water a, a lot quicker. Like the Geo Boss, getting to the Geo Boss is not as easy where well, you have to swim across. So if you don't have max stamina or your stamina is not too high, it's going to be a lot harder to do. But with Mona, she gets across there really fast, meaning you're going to be using less stamina. Another character I want to talk about is going to be Chi Chi. Chi Chi, if you go to her talents, displays the location of nearby resources unique to leeway on the mini map if you look at your map you see there's nothing on the map now if we go to leeway we can just go anywhere there's going to be a hand on your map and what that hand does is it shows you anything that is unique to leeway that you can pick up break like core lapis it shows core lapis it shows things that you can pick up it shows anything that is unique to leeway which, okay, right there. So, uh, Violet Grass. If you guys don't know, Violet Grass is a very is a very tedious resource to acquire. Well, with Chi Chi on your team, it shows you literally anything that is unique to Leeway, it, it shows it. So, Core Lapis is unique to Leeway. Um, Violet Grass, any of those type of resources, it shows you all of those. Now, keep in mind, it's not only these couple of characters. Another character who's not so much on the passive side but more so on the um, active side of being used is Kaching. I like to use Kaching when it comes to exploration because she can teleport, right? So a lot of the times, instead of using stamina to climb, you could simply do things like this and put her teleport up and then teleport to it. Now keep in mind, it doesn't go right above her. It only goes diagonal. So, you know, you want to get like right here and do stuff like that, right? Saves you time from climbing and you can just go about your day. It's on a super short cooldown, so you can use it quite often. Or if you need to jump across a peak and you wanna get extra distance, you can do stuff like that. It'll give you height and it'll give you a uh, distance on it so that you can get a farther uh, glide time. On top of Kaching, there are characters like Ningguang. Ningguang is very, very useful because she has a passive that displays the location of nearby ore, meaning iron ore, white iron ore, crystal ore, and magical crystal ore. This is a very, very useful if you are trying to, um, if you're trying to basically craft a weapon in the, um, you know, in the blacksmith, at the blacksmith, you can use Ningguang to go around. It'll literally just show a ore on your mini map. And then you'll be able to go mine that ore and keep going about your business. Very, very useful character to, um, you know, find all of those. Now, not only that, there are characters that give you, um, that make you use less stamina when you're gliding. But 
there are two characters that make you use less stamina in general when you're running. Decreases all party members sprinting stamina consumption by 20%. Very, very good. Decreases all party members sprinting stamina consumption by 20%. So Kaya and Razor have the exact same passives. They make you use less stamina, which is really nice. Now, obviously, you have people like Amber who decreases all party members gliding stamina consumption. So when you're gliding, you use less stamina. But uh, Razor and Kaya, whenever you're sprinting, you use less stamina. So there you go. Now, Venti also has the gliding one. But yeah, so all of these characters are just very, very useful for normal exploration. Klee is coming out soon, and I know Klee has the exact same passive as Chi Chi, except for Mondstadt. So uh, just like how with Chi Chi, anything that is leeway, it'll show you things unique to leeway that you can pick up. Well, with Klee, anything that is unique to Monspat, Monspat? Monstat, it'll show you, right? I know this is Monstat, but this is all Monstat. So, it'll, it'll show you guys things that you can pick up, blah, 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 that are unique to Monstat, like Cecilia's or whatever the case may be. So, uh, make sure you guys, you, it, it, like, whenever you're just only exploring, whenever you're only exploring, you guys should be making a team for exploration. Now, if you look at my team right here, my team has multiple sources of exploration, so to speak, being Chi Chi, uh, who gives me the, uh, it shows me where stuff is unique to Leeway on the map, which, let's be real, I spend most of my time in Leeway, right, as far as running around, finding stuff, like, I'm in Monstat, uh, Monstat a lot, I keep saying Monstat, I'm in Monstat a lot, but, like, I'm generally in Leeway almost all the time, so, me having Chi Chi on my team is very good. Not to mention, I have Venti, who's going to cover me going vertical. And then, I also have Mona on my team, who's going to cover me going over water. And then, on top of that, Beto is a Claymore user, so she can mine the ores or whatever, Core Lapis, whatever's in the world. So, my, my team, which this is my main team, is a very good team for exploration. Now, if you don't have a very good team for exploration, say you have, like, a one-hand sword user... Um, and then you have a couple of other characters that don't really do anything as far as exploration. What you can do is go to your party setup and create create a team just for exploration. Literally, just, just for exploration. Say you want to do just exploration, you can literally do some sort of team. I I'm not going to use Kaya, but if you want the stamina reduction, you can. Um, I will put Ningguang here. Well, I can, but I mean, I can't use her because she's on the expedition. But um, yeah, like if you want to make a t build a team that is based around just exploration, that would be good. Now, D. Luke uh, is a really good exploration character because he has fire and he's a Claymore user. Because if you guys don't know, fire is something that you need a lot of the time whenever you're exploring, whether it's burning down the like uh, wood that's over the, the chests or whatever, right? There's a lot of different things that need fire. Uh, so all of these characters are really good for exploration. Not all of these, but, you know, the ones I'm talking about. Chi Chi, Venti, Ningguang, um, Claymore users for the ore, uh, Kaching with her teleport, Mona with her sprint. All of those characters are just really, really good when it comes to exploration. So uh, if you guys didn't know this or you haven't built your exploration team, I suggest you build you one. But anyways, that's going to be it for this video. Be sure to give it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Comment down below. Tell me what you guys did in the comment section below. With that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.